This week, OpenAI released a new version of Whisper, their audio to text model. It's called Turbo and supposedly has faster transcription speeds than the large model with a minimal reduction in accuracy. In this video, we're going to try it out on my 2021 M1 Max machine with an MP3 file containing an episode of the AI Daily Brief podcast. So I'm trying out the UV Python package manager. So we're going to tell it that we want to run with OpenAI Whisper and Torch. And then we're going to call the Whisper command line tool, passing in the MP3 file and then telling it which model we want to run with. And you can sort of see from the warning messages we get here, it's kind of saying FP16 is not supported on CPUs. That's kind of weird. It's like making me think maybe it's running on the CPU. And you can sort of see here in real time, this is transcribing really, really slow. So this is not what we want at all. So let's kill that. And we're going to run it again. And this time we're going to pass in device MPS, which should hopefully make it run on the GPU. So let's run that. And you can see it sort of fails quite quickly. So let's scroll up. It takes a little bit, little while, but we've got an error uh, at the top. Uh, and so I've been searching this and apparently this is a known error on GitHub. So using the Whisper CLI from the repository is a no-go if you're working on a Mac. Luckily for us, there is another tool that we can use called Insanely Fast Whisper. That uses Hugging Faces Transformers library. And luckily for us, the Hugging Face folks have got it working and uploaded the weights to Wylacom forward slash whisper hyphen large hyphen v3 hyphen turbo. So let's give it a try. So we need to set this environment variable first and we're going to first run it on our file passing in the device ID MPS and we're going to use the large v3 model first so we have a comparison. This one is smaller and therefore faster than large. We're going to use that as our baseline. We'll give it a batch size of four. I found anything bigger seems to give me out of memory exceptions and then we're going to tell it where to write the transcript and we'll kick that off and you can see it's sort of running. We'll speed it up for the purposes of the video and it finishes in just over three minutes. Let's now try the turbo model. So we're going to update it to write the transcript to a different JSON file and then we'll update the model name to point to turbo and then we'll kick that one off again. We'll speed it up and this time it finishes in a little bit under two minutes. So we can see there's been a speed up. I've tried it on a bunch of different podcasts files which you can see on on this table here. So sort of different lengths. And I've tried it with both of the, the models. And apart from the one that we just looked at, which is about 1.7 times faster, uh, and it's generally slower, I think probably because we are recording at, that, at the same time as we were running the, the tool, uh, it's generally 2.3, 2.4 times faster than the large V3 model. So keep in mind when looking at these numbers that I'm using a 2021 M1 Max with 64 gigabytes of RAM. So it is possible if you're using a 2023 M2 Max or maybe an M3 Max or an Ultra, you're going to get even faster than this. Now let's have a look at what it's come up with. So we'll just have a look at the JSON file. We'll have a look at the keys in there. So it's got chunks, it's got speakers, and it's got text. Speakers is generally empty, but let's have a look at the chunks that we've got. And if we scroll down a bit, we can see this episode is about Mira Maradi leaving OpenAI and then further down Sam Altman replying to that. So the content is more or less similar in the JSON file for the large model, but let's see what happens if we ask an LLM to summarize each file. So I'm going to cat the file, we're going to pull out the text and then we're going to call a llama and we're going to use the 3.1 model and we're going to say above is a podcast transcript. What are your three main takeaways? And so it identifies that people are leaving because of exhaustion, AI investors will pay whatever's needed, and more transparency is needed at OpenAI. So that was the turbo model. Let's now try it with the large model. So it looks a pretty similar summary to me. There is a hallucination on Mira's name. That isn't actually the case in the file, so I'm not sure what went wrong there. And it also identifies that the podcast host has some skepticism about what OpenAI are doing. So I'll put all the links to the JSON files in the description below. And if you want to learn more about Insanely Fast Whisper, check out this video next.